school has a motto, but every school should have a motto, right? A motto. So I'm going to give you one. And I want you to repeat after me. Every day. Every day. In every way. In every way. I'm getting better and better. I'm getting better and better. Every day. Every day. In every way. In every way. I'm getting better and better. I'm getting better and better. Yes, that's it. That's it. everybody thank you for checking me out my name is echo simpson i'm a Ghanaian, um and i live in ghana well you are watching this channel because somebody introduced you to it it was recommended or suggested to you on youtube basically my youtube channel is to connect africans and the motherland to africans in the diaspora so thank you for checking me out if this is your first time of watching my videos kindly subscribe to my youtube channel Do you see that? That is an ongoing project in my school. That is a library that I'm putting up for the school. I'm not doing it by myself, no. I'm doing it together with you and all the teachers and everybody who's been watching my videos. So anytime I make a video about my school, I feel so happy because this project that we're doing is really bringing a lot of people closer to me, closer to my students, especially, and then closer to the whole school. So today we had some Sisters from the United States brought in by my big sister and my mother and my everything Ya Asantua. So they came around to check out the school. We had a conversation about how come this project is ongoing. And then we had to, you know, bring in the kids. The conversation was tight and all that. Uh, one is called Professor Frank, the other is called Dr. Frank. They're from the United States African Diaspora. So um, let's go to the other side and watch the conversation and everything that they did here when they visited my school. And when I went to school, I went to a school, something like this, a little bit different in, in, in New York. And the school I went to was called Grand Avenue, and that was my first grade school. And then I went all the way through school. I finished college, and then I went all the way to medical school. And I finished medical school. And I went all the way and I finished residency and now I'm a medical doctor. I've been practicing medicine for 35 years in the state. So Rebecca is, is the guidepost. You should always try to have your name in the top 10. You should always be in the top 10. When the grades are posted, yours should be in the top 10. If not in the top 10, don't be discouraged. You can study hard next time and still be in the top 10. Yeah. Now you might say, well, how does this bring me money? How does this bring me food? What are we doing here? We're studying. Well, we're expanding our mind. We're growing our brain so that we can take part in the world and become very successful. The only way I became a doctor is I studied hard. And that's the way you can become a doctor. Study hard. So study hard and you will be rewarded. You will be rewarded. Be rewarded not always monetarily, but you will be rewarded because you can experience more of life. The more you know, the more you will do. The reason I came here is because somebody said, you should go there and see these beautiful, intelligent people in Ghana. I said, I have to go. Yeah. I'm leaving you today. Yeah. 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 So we came, we came and we saw you. And you know what? The surprise is, you're better than we expected. You guys are amazing. And you have done more with less. But you need to stay in the books and listen to your master, your headmaster, your, your instructors. They will point you in a direction to lead you to success in this life. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. The world has many things. Yeah. You have to learn them all. As much as you can. You can't know everything, but you have to try. And so the pursuit of knowledge is what this is all about. Coming to school, being prepared, studying hard, learning your material. So I'm so happy to be here. My name is Frank Fraley. Um, I was not the best in the class, so I don't gravitate to the smartest. I was actually one of the not so smartest, but somehow I still became a college professor. Wow. So sometimes you don't have to have the most brains, but you have to use the ones you have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. And I became a jeweler. Right? I make jewelry, 
right? And my commitment to you is if we can work out the process, I will come here and I will teach you how to make jewelry. Wow. When that happens, when that happens, it's not in order for it to just become a hobby. A hobby is something you do, but you don't make money. It's fun, but it doesn't feed you. I want to teach you how to make jewelry so that when people come to your community, they can take away something that you made that represents where they have visited. Huh? That's called a business. You understand? So there are a lot of people on the other side of the Atlantic who have what we call heart strings. Strings connected to your heart that are connected to this place. Okay? When I went to Elmina, when I went to Cape Coast Dungeon, I don't refer to any of those places as a castle. A castle is where someone lives who is royal and important. A dungeon is where you take captured human beings and you turn them into slaves. Some of your history books might say when the slaves went to America, they were not slaves when they went to America. They were captured human beings that were turned into slaves by evil people. Okay? Yeah. We have come back to represent those who made it across the Atlantic. And we are coming back to speak to you, not just with words, but with actions. Okay? Yeah. So there are people who will see these videos, there are people who will see your photographs, and they will be generous. I already know it, because some of them have already expressed it with their thumbs on their phones. Yes. And they can express more with their thumbs on their phones and their debit cards than many other people can. And we're going to ask them to do that. Okay? Yes. You need a lot. You have a lot, you have a great spirit, but you need a lot. You need, you need ceiling fans. Mm -hmm. huh? wow. You need some air. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You need water in the community that's not delivered, but comes from the ground. Yeah. Right? You, 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 you need books, right? You need more computers. books, right? You need computers, right? There's a lot of things you need, and we're going to try to help you get it. Now, what I really want, what I really want, I want all of you to come here behind us, and I want to take pictures from there back here. I want to show them you. But every school should have a model, right? A model. So I'm going to give you one. And I want you to repeat after me. Every day. Every day. In every way. In every way. I'm getting better and better. I'm getting better and better. Every day. Every day. In every way. In every way. I'm getting better and better. I'm getting better and better. I'm getting better. That's the administrator's office. Yeah. Huh? So we need to change that too. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You have to ask them on the one. This is very impressive. What she's done, what you guys have done here is very impressive. You know? That's impressive, man.